Hi, it's Paul here at Dapper Rocks. Today we're going to look at quantization, which is FL Studio's way of helping you to place your notes in the correct time intervals in the piano roll. There are two ways of doing quantization. You can do it on the fly or in real time as you hit the keys on your MIDI keyboard or even on your uh, computer keyboard or you can do it after the event, after you've created notes by using the pencil tool inside the piano roll and maybe you didn't have the snap selector turned on and you've been a bit sloppy and you haven't um, positioned notes quite correctly and you've got the, the, the lengths of them wrong or whatever um, but the point is there are two ways of doing it, live and after the event so we'll start off by t taking a look at the live method and first of the first thing you need to know is that when you start your recording before before you start hitting the notes you need to have the snap in the piano roll set to main so that the um, the snappy is being taken from the global selector here at the top and as you can see in this case I've got the global selector set to a half beat I'm using a very low tempo and I'm going to play in the background some claps at 80 beats per minute so uh, four claps in every bar and I'm going to try and hit uh, a piano key or sorry a, a keyboard key from my computer keyboard in time with the claps and I'm hoping that the quantization will fix any problems I've got so here we go Stop it there, and you can see that if I made any <laughs> errors, which I probably did in my timing, um, the quantization has fixed it. So I'm getting uh, notes of the the length that I would expect, and they're they're hitting the grid line every time. So they're well positioned. Now, what w one mistake you can make is if I get rid of these notes, is you can you can set up a lot of divisions. So if I change this to one sixth of a step, which is the most you can have, um, I don't know how many you can see on the screen there, but with one sixth of a step, you get 96 time divisions per bar. That's a lot of time divisions per bar. So let's see what happens this time if I uh, try and hit the um, the quarter beat mark as the music play, as, as the claps play. Here we go. go now I don't know how well you can see this on your screen because sometimes these fine lines don't show on videos very well but if you look at where my pencil is this note here has come in late it's not on the grid line this note has come in late this one's on time on time late late on time and early so because I've given the software uh, more intervals to aim at by selecting one sixth of a step it hasn't helped me on this occasion to get my notes on the quarter um, note lines uh, which is what I wanted so that's something for you to consider if you're using real-time quantization is that you want to set the snap selector the main global s snap selector here at the top um, as low as you can in order to you know as low as w it will suit the music you're trying to to um, play into it otherwise if you give it too many time intervals to choose from there's more chance that it's going to select the wrong one okay so now let's look at quantization when we're not trying to do it in real time so this is a musical score that I've created it's <laughs> a one note score and we're going to look at this kind of static quantization one of the first things to understand is now it's not vital that I pick up the snap from the global selector at the top. I can use this local s snap here at the top of the piano roll and I've actually got it set to a half beat. All right? And that's why you can see in this uh, bar there are eight notes. It's chopped up into eight time intervals. So there are three types of quantization you can choose from. If I come to the option key at the top, come to tools and you see the th three flavors here quick quantize 
quick quantize start times and full fat quantize. And note that they've all got uh, shortcut keys associated with them, so quick quantize is control Q. So let's see what happens now if I go for a quick quantize on this note. It's already on the grid line, so actually I'll move it off. So it's off the grid line and it's a bit longer than a, a quarter of a note. So here we go, control Q and pretty much does as you might expect. It moves it to the front of that grid line so uh, I'm hitting the quarter note and it shortened it because it's assumed that it didn't want something, I didn't want something longer than a quarter of a note and that note was set to longer than a quarter of a note so it's reduced the size of it as well. Let's see what happens if I um, make it longer still okay so it's nearly two quarter notes and I'm also going to move it back in that grid so the start of the note is still in this grid and the note is nearly two eighths long okay so I'm going to put my pencil where the start of this note is and I'm going to do a control Q for quick quantize see what it's done because the start of the note was towards the back of this cell it assumed that I wanted this, the start of the note to be in this cell and it's assumed that I wanted two eight, eighth notes in length so it's elongated the duration to fill two eighths of a note so that's quick quantize it works with the start point of the note and also the duration of the note now let's um, let's change my note again so I'm, I'm about an eighth and a sixteenth, three sixteenths long I'm, o I'm over the, the eighth of a note duration and now I'm going to put the note there so it's not on the grid line again and this time I'm going to go for quick quantize start time so shift Q this time instead of control Q so here we go shift Q and you can see what it's done. It's moved it to the grid line that it thought I was trying to hit, but this time it hasn't affected the duration. So it's only the start time of the note. If I'd have moved the note back to there, uh, so that's beyond the halfway point of this cell, you can guess that if I do a shift Q now, it'll move it to the following cell, but still leave the uh, note length unchanged. So here we go, shift Q and that's exactly how it's behaved. So that is uh, quick quantize and quick quantize with start times or, or just working with start times. Hasn't changed the, the note length. The third option for quantization is the quantizer which I pick up from here from the options then tools then quantize. Alt Q or come here. Click on it and I get this bunch of lines on the screen uh, which is the way it's planning to do the quantization for me unless I change things so these lines they turn up in accordance to what's been in accordance with what has been selected in here so if I go into this folder I get some options here of bar beat half beat half step and so on so if I select one of those it'll look different let's select um, half beat so there we are, it, it would now start quantizing to the half beat if I selected that or I could come in here into this option triangle here where I've got a lot more grooves in there um, some of them are sort of very finely divided time intervals and others less so but the basic ones are here on the right so I'll stick with what I've got for now and what you see on the screen is a single note that I put in uh, it's not hitting the um, grid lines and I'm not absolutely sure what length it is, but I, it's definitely longer than a, than a one eighth note, and I don't. And it, I can see it's not as long as a two eighths note or a quarter note. So I might bring the quanti quantization into play here. Now, these knobs here, you get those on most menus, and they re relate to thing things like panning, velocity, note release, strength, and all of that. Well, you you're not really in this menu to to use these things. You're you're only really interested in these four controls here. This one here is called the mode and uh, you select according to what you want. So let's go to leave duration to begin with 
and so start time uh, what this sets is the degree to which you want the software to apply quantization to start time so and you see it's halfway selected at the moment so if I turn it right down it's it's now not bothering about the start time at all if I turn it all the way up you should see it move over to the grid line now it's very concerned about it it's bang on the grid line so that's the degree to which you want the start time applied because you don't want necessarily your your musical score to sound like a machine so this is your 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 ability to give it a bit of uh, human failure if you like and, and have it off the grid line but it applies to every note you've got in the score so you know you have to be thoughtful about how you use it duration now this won't have any effect because I've selected the leave duration mode so if I move this all the way down or all the way up it doesn't make any difference sensitivity is the degree to which the software is being asked to pay attention to things these two things start time and duration if you turn the sensitivity right down you notice my note jumps to the right a little bit because I'm basically saying to it don't pay too much attention or don't pay any attention to the start time now if I take it all the way up it will uh, or keep going all the way up it, it doesn't pull that note all the way over because I haven't uh, asked it to with this control so it's just the this sets when the software notices there's a problem if you like and these ones set the, de the degree to which you want the software to take care of the problem um, if that all makes sense um, and then in the modes here you can you know leave the end time don't worry about the end time so that that jumped out again if you noticed on the screen because previously it was pulling the end time in a little bit and um, what else have we got quantized duration well this this will now come into play so if I wind that down see it doesn't pay too much attention to the or it doesn't pay any attention at all to the duration now but if I wind this all the way up we should see it will go back to being a, a dead on a quarter of a uh, a note in length and that's about it really that's that's the quantizer gives you complete control over how you want the the the, the, uh, the notes or the quantization to, to handle the notes but you do have to remember it applies to everything in your score um, so I think you have to be qu careful about quantization you, you, you don't want it to be um, changing something that you've deliberately created too much when I create a musical score if I use quantization at all it tends to be quantization with start times so I'll, like this one here so I'm pulling the notes into the start of the note interval but if I've created notes that are a bit shorter and a bit longer and I want them to stay that way it doesn't have any bearing on that so the choice is yours it's really to do with what you want so I hope that's helpful I hope uh, you know we might have cleared a few things up if it has been helpful please subscribe because we're adding new tips all the time and give us a like because it helps other people to find us Thanks very much for listening and good luck with your music.